Do you know how to train your back? Today, I'm gonna show you how. Pay attention, today you might learn something. YouTube, how are you doing today? My name is Theo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's episode, we're going to talk about one of the biggest muscles of your body and it is also the biggest muscle of your back, the latissimus dorsi. First, we're going to talk about the anatomy and then the function and as last, I'm going to show you some exercises on how you can train it. Sit back, no, sit up, take notes and you're going to learn something today. Let's go! Your back has about 18 muscles. Uh, almost half of them are deeply layered, uh, but the most of them are more superficial. Today, we're going to talk about the biggest and the baddest of them all, and that is the latissimus dorsi. The latissimus dorsi is a triangle-shaped muscle that comprises about half of your back. It runs from the pelvis to the inside of your upper arm. When well developed, the latissimus dorsi gives you a wing-shaped form that is well visible also from the front but it is also an important functional muscle that stabilizes during compound movements such as the deadlift. The latissimus dorsi has three main functions that all work through the shoulder joint. Uh, the first one is so-called extension. From a position when you have your arm in front of you, it pulls the arm down. Notice that the muscle pulls the upper arm, also known as the humerus, and not the lower arm. The second function is adduction from the sideways, so it pulls down the upper arm towards the side of the body. The third one is internal rotation, as you can see here. The lats also assist in hyperextension of the spine and lateral flexion of the pelvis when the insertion, the endpoints, are fixed. I'm going to show you 11 exercises, uh, starting with the easiest, working my way down to the more difficult and more evidence-based exercises for the latissimus dorsi. Let's go! If you are an intermediate or advanced athlete, you can probably skip forward to minute number... So, the first exercise is on this machine, it's called the pull-down machine, conveniently. On this machine, you sit down and you grab the handle, but hold up. Before you pull, you have to apply something that I call ETT. Eliminate the thumb. Remove your thumb around the handle and place it next to your index finger to make like a hook grip and then pull on the machine. This puts more emphasis on the latissimus dorsi and less on the biceps when you are contracting. Remember to look slightly upwards and to feel your latissimus contracting when you're making the pull movement. This is also called the mind-muscle connection and it really helps to develop your muscles. The next machine is called the vertical traction. It's basically the same as the last one. Um, makes the same kind of pull movement and in this also I would just recommend the same. Make sure that you're using ETT. You're pulling down in a slower fashion and, con and, and, and controlled upward and remember the muscle that you are working on. You should be able to feel it. These machines are quite easy, which makes them excellent for all beginners. The next exercise is the straight arm pull down. This is an excellent exercise for the latissimus dorsi as it, it, it emulates the exact anatomical movement of the latissimus dorsi. Uh, extension of the shoulder joint. Make sure to start off with the light weight and to feel the weight contracting first before you adding on some other weight. The next exercise is the one arm cable row. Stand a little bit on the side of the cable row. Put the weight towards your thigh. Try to hold the weight a bit longer when you are on the top and slowly let it go. And do the same for the other side. This exercise can be used as a warm-up for heavier exercises like the deadlift or the lat pull-down. 
as you can really feel the lead contract separately and uh, prepare it for a heavy set that you're about to do. Try to hold the weight a little bit on the top, a bit longer than I'm doing right now to have the isometric contraction really work. What I like about this exercise is that I really don't need any heavy weight to feel my lats working. The next exercise is the wide grip seated row. The emphasis here is on the wide grip. The wider the grip, the more latissimus dorsi involvement there is. Narrow grips usually uh, bring also other muscles like the trapezius and the rhomboids into play. But here we are focusing on the latissimus dorsi, so therefore a wide grip is definitely preferable. Make sure to bring the bar uh, slightly uh, above your knee. You don't need to go too far with this one because uh, the shoulder joint is already extending and the uh, latissimus dorsi is contracting firmly as you can see here. Alright, next we have the dumbbell row. The dumbbell row is one of the best back exercises that man has ever invented in my opinion. In order to hit the latissimus dorsi well, you have to bring the weight a bit uh, to, to the back. So I mean this, I mean to the back of your pocket. Uh, try to hold it a little bit longer on the top and have a neutral spine. Repeat this on the other side of your body and enjoy the burn in your lats. So, the next exercise is of course the T-bar row. This is an excellent back exercise for overall back uh, development. For the latissimus dorsi, you have to use a wider grip though, it, it puts more emphasis on it. But if you don't have a fancy wide grip like uh, this one here, you can also do it with a V-bar. This incorporates though a bit more of the rhomboids and the trapezius, but it's okay. You can still feel the lat activate here firmly and don't do a light width like I'm doing. This is like nothing. And the light pull down machine. Um, I incorporated this one uh, just for one reason and one reason only is because you can go really heavy on this one. So all the machines really we can you can add on some weight. I, in, in my experience, usually uh, great uh, mass builders, especially if you're training for strength. But you don't really need a lot of weight to make it to, to fill it. Make sure to grab it with a bit supinated grip here. It does incorporate a bit more of the biceps, but the lats are definitely active here. You will be sore the next day. Next exercise is the pull-ups. Yeah, the ultimate back exercise. Apply ETT and pull yourself up only for <coughs> advanced athletes only. Uh, yeah, advanced. No, I'm just joking. I'm, the pull-ups are one of the best back exercises ever invented. Um, not a lot of people can do proper pull-ups, um, but they are, I'll show you three ways we can do them. First is like this, weighted with assistance. The second way you can do pull-ups, of course, is you can do it with full body weight. This is a bit more tough, but if you apply uh, correct form, you will feel it mostly in your, in your legs. With correct form, I mean slightly uh, further than uh, shoulder width grip and of course with hook grip and pull yourself up as fast as you can and, and, and come back slowly. The third way is with an extra weight on your waist. Um, keep the form in check, uh, still the same form, wide grip and pull yourself as fast as you can. You, you will find out that it is not that easy to pull yourself uh, fast if you, can, if you have uh, an extra weight around your middle. Uh, remember the mind muscle connection so make sure that you're feeling your lats when you're pulling yourself up work yourself towards at least 10 repetition with correct form that's when you really uh, start to feel it before you go any heavier all right the next exercise is the lat pull down remember that the lats perform extension and adduction in the shoulder joint well the lat pull down movement is exactly a combination of those two of extension and adduction in the shoulder joint hence that's why you need to lean back a little bit to hit the lats optimally the next logical question to ask is uh, how wide or narrow should you grab the bar well the sign says a slightly wider grip elicits the most emg activity in the latissimus dorsi which means that's when the lats are most active however what this article failed to mention is the thumb placement when you're grabbing the bar. 
in my opinion and in my experience when you grab the bar without the thumb you have a, a lot more lat activation than when you use, use it with the thumb like i said earlier this hook grip takes out the biceps and puts more emphasis on your back muscles don't forget to retract your shoulders and to push your chest upwards as this will put your latissimus dorsi in the optimal position to contract and hence you can train it much much better this way that same article also suggests that a supinated and more shoulder width grip was also very effective for lat activation this does put a little bit more emphasis on your biceps but your lats are the primary movers in this movement All right, the last but definitely not the least, actually one of my favorites, the barbell row. Make sure to grab it with a supinated grip. Remember, supinated is with the palms up. Bring the barbell towards your lower belly and let it down slowly. You can go quite heavy on this exercise, but make sure that you do it with correct form. This is definitely not a beginner's exercise, but it's a, one of the best exercises for your latissimus dorsi. You might be wondering, what about the deadlift? Well, the deadlift does not really target the latissimus dorsi. For a good deadlift, you do need to use your lats to activate your core to make it tight. But from there on, other muscles take over. If you look at the literature, you will find that the deadlift activates a lot of big muscles, mainly from the posterior chain. But the latissimus dorsi is not one of those muscles. However, if you don't know how to activate your lats properly, you will compromise your deadlift and hence increase the, the chances of an injury. Wait, there's one more. This one is called the cable crossover pull down, I believe. I found this one on the internet while I was researching this topic. This is a, well, first of all, make sure to kneel down a bit in front of the cables and pull the cables into your lats. What I like about this exercise is that you can do it with two arms at the same time but you can also hold one arm while you're pulling the other one. So you can switch between uh, lats and feel them contract uh, easily. Try it out. I, I really like this exercise and I thought I would share it with you. Thank you so much for watching. This video was so, was so long it's already starting to get dark outside. That's why the colors are changing a little bit here. Anyway. If I missed an exercise or there's some kind of exercise that you know that I did not mention in this uh, video, please let me know in the comment sections below. And yeah, I guess I will see you again in the next video. And oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.